feels good. <laughs> March feels good. Um, January was tough. Um, but I'll tell you what, like our kid, our group, they, they never wavered. They, they came to, to practice every day and they worked and they believed in what we were telling them. They were in the gym on their own getting shots up. Uh, and today, you know, our, our focus was to win every quarter. Just win every quarter. Don't win a basketball game, win every quarter. Um, I know we didn't do that in the third and the fourth quarter, um, but to be resilient enough to go two for 16 in the fourth quarter and find a way to get it done in overtime. Um, I, I, everybody, every, every time out, no deer in headlights, chins were up, no pouty faces, one through 13, everybody was bought in to making sure Purdue had more points than Illinois tonight. And we were finally able to do that. It's a growing up moment for Mary Ashley. I mean, we've been seeing it yeah. kind of steadily come, but did she pop the top off tonight? I mean, I, uh, I hope not. I hope, she, I hope she's got a lot more in that tank. Um, just tough. Off. Uh, I don't know if she told you guys in here or not, but she almost didn't play today. Um, last Thursday when she went to the doctor and she told her nose was broken. And obviously that's a big, 18 years old, like it's a big thing. Um, and mentally just kind of I think overwhelmed her a little bit. Her and I had a great chat um, for about an hour or so that night, Thursday night in my office. Kind of reminded me of those those car rides I used to have with Coach Curry back in the day, my freshman year. Um, and by the way, congratulations to her. I think she, she 500. She got her 500 win today, so so big congrats to Coach. But um, you know, and, and I left that night uh, here. I called my staff and I was like, hey, you know, MA's not going to play on on Monday. So game plan wise, let's start thinking about who we start. You know, what does that change? What does that do to us? Um, text the next morning, I wake up to a text, I'm playing. I thought about this, I talked about it with my parents, I'm not letting my team down. Boy, am I glad she played today. Let's <laughs> say when I talked to her Sunday, she seemed... Yeah, she, she was locked in, yeah, that was, so that was Thursday, right? Um, yeah, Thursday night, Friday morning, I woke up to that text. She, she practiced Friday, she practiced Saturday, she practiced Sunday, and it's pretty damn good today. Uh, look, 500 seems to be a theme. You know, you get to career says 500, 500 wins in back your arena. Your former coach gets yeah. 500, so. We'll take it <laughs> I, all day, every day. 500 is a great number. If I, if I was allowed to bet, I'd probably go <laughs> throw something 500 on something. I don't know, but. But I mean, well, we talked about Mary Ashley, but what, what Janae did with her playmaking ability and finding mm -hmm. shooters, but also the combination of, of Madison and Caitlin kind of when you needed them yeah. to hit a big shot or two. Yeah, um, Janae was really good all 45 minutes. Um, it's order to probably make that free throw and, and chase down a, a rebound there in the fourth quarter when we gave up so many offensive rebounds. Um, but just, she was she was really, really special. I think the, the backdoor cut from Madison when we were down by one with about a minute and a half in overtime was really, really good. Great cut by Mads. Um, and, and finish. Um, you know, that's just something that Janae does. Like, you just kind of expect it because um, she's so special. Madison get, goes on a little heater in the third quarter and scores about seven points in a row. Um, and, and, and then all of a sudden, we just go ice cold from outside. I think Madison and Abby had some great, great looks. Um, and then in the fourth quarter, we, went, we made one little adjustment so the extra pass is going to Caitlin in the, in the corner and she knocked it down to, to push it to four. Uh, just one more. Illinois gets 21 offensive rebounds, but they only score eight second chance points. How much have you guys been to play a role into keeping them from getting more there? Yeah, um, obviously you don't want to give up 21 offensive rebounds. Um, it, you know, they, they did miss a lot of shots. Um, and, you know, Mackenzie, man, she was just flying in and chasing things down. I mean, she had 12 of those. Uh, and I think one possession, I think they had five or six offensive rebounds on that same possession, but they, I don't think they scored on it. Um, a lot a lot of practice, our, our, you know, our prep was, because we knew it was going to be tough to keep, you know, be, in a zone, it's, it's tough to rebound in a zone, uh, but keeping McKenzie, um, Hobby, and Bostic off the glass, 
you know, just making sure we were walling up and, and not giving up and ones, but making sure they were just shooting the ball over top of, you know, four, six hands, um, and we were able to do that. Um, I think they had three second chance points at halftime and then five in what, another 25 minutes. So, um, but, but if you look at us, I thought we were monsters on the glass and, and you know, MA, JT, Caitlin, um, able to, to get us some second chance points. Coach, um, one of the themes defensively has been, you know, teams getting, you know, two or three three-pointers, but today, especially in that first half, um, you know, held them below 25%. Mm -hmm. um, what was it about the way your team was able to maybe come in off, off, off the help to, to the contest that was maybe better than what had been better that had been in the previous seven games? Yeah. Um, it, it, Illinois is not a, like, that's not their, their bread and butter. Um, and so that plays into it. Uh, but I thought we were pretty locked in on knowing where Genesis Bryant was. Uh, I know, Makaira hit her first one. Uh, but, you know, those are the two we were talking about, just make them play in a crowd. Um, you know, Bryant goes two for nine from the three. And then our, our goal today was to, to make sure Cook took more shots than she had points. And uh, we did our job there. Um, you know, Bostic, I think she had made she was two for seven on the year, I think maybe from three, something like that. Um, and steps out and hits two. And we talked about, you know, obviously she's an Indiana kid, um, you know, playing against uh, Madison and, and McKenna. Um, she was going to come out. Of it. That kid had a really, really, really special game. Um, but yeah, just uh, play percentages. I'm not a big analytic person, but play percentages and uh, you know, try to try to make some some kids shoot it. Uh, who, weren't necessarily necessarily their their three point threats. Coach it really seemed like this team played with a with a lot more just just freedom and, and joy. It seemed like in, in that first half. What what was something that you've been talking about just in in the couple of days leading up to this game, knowing you know sort of the side that you were on and knowing what you had to do to to sort of end it. Well, the game told me, you know, tear up the stat sheet, tear up the nine and twelve record fresh start. Let's see if we can make February our month. Um, can't do anything about the past. All we can do is live in the moment. Um, and I'm telling, like I tell you, like these kids have come to work. Yeah, like they, they have practiced really hard. Well, they practiced hard on Saturday, not great. So they responded on Sunday and, and came out. Just, just forget about winning. Forget about losing. Just play basketball. Um, and. and you know, we just kept saying like, win the quarter, win the quarter, you know, win the quarter, and uh, forget about winning the game. Take, kind of take the pressure off of, of, off of us to just win the quarter, win the moment, win the play, and uh, we did enough of that today. Seemed like Madison had been on a little bit of a slump until that third quarter where she just yeah. all of a sudden the pull, the pull up jumper, the threes. Mm -hmm. um, you know, what what do you think was was the thing from from her that just maybe. I just, you know, I think at, at halftime, I, I called her over to me and I was like, look, it, it's a little flat. Um, give it a little bit more lift, but you got to keep shooting it. You're, you're playing too well on the defensive end for us. If you don't shoot it, I'm not going to play you. So you might as well shoot it so I can't play you because we need you on the defensive end. And, and five for 17 isn't great, right? Two for nine isn't great, but that little stretch was, was massive when we needed it. But then when she shoots it, it allows Mary Ashley, JT, and Caitlin to go get an offensive rebound because the attention is to Madison and to Abby. You know, I know they, they don't shoot it well together when they're seven of 29, but that allows the other three to go get an offensive rebound and, and, and they clean things up for them today. And last question, and, and just, I mean, what you saw out of Mary Ashley Stevenson tonight, I mean, knowing the amount of pain that she was in to be that young and to handle the moment with such maturity, I mean, what does that speak about her and, and, and what the future is right now with this program? Yeah, she's just, I mean, that's just, you just, she's mature. You talk to her, she, I mean, she's about to turn 19, but it's hard to believe that she's 18 years old. Um, she's tough. She doesn't, she physically fits the part. She, you know, she's out there with a six year, two fifth years and a senior, and she doesn't look out of place. Um, she looks like she belongs. And I thought it from the very first minute um, she went into the game at UCLA. Um, she looked like she belonged. Um, and I'll tell you what, the kid takes hard coaching. 
she, you know, she lets me get on her um, in games. She responds straight, great eye contact. Um, loves Purdue, believes in Purdue, um, and I think we're we're Purdue is in for a very special ride um, with number twenty for the next three years. Thank you, Coach. Thanks. Well, you talked about Bostic. Um, did you? Were you? How? How did you feel about that? Were you kind of feeling like, okay, we're gonna pick our poison here? Yeah. I mean, well, it. Yeah, I mean, you just play percentage, and, and you know, she was she was really good inside. Um, the the two threes came off. Um, I think Madison closed out short, like we asked her to do. She hit it. Her second one came late shot clock, and I think it was Ma closed out short. But then Ma just understanding, you know, late clock. Everybody's a shooter. We got to get out of them. And then like kind of accumulating knowledge as the game goes on. Okay, their non-shooter hit one. I got to get I got to get out on her a little bit. But I think that's just part of Ma's growth. Um, and then I think as you know, she only got two. And a couple of the times, like we we did close out hard and made her put the ball on the floor. Um, you know, Gretchen Dolans was a, a corner three off of you know Rashonda's not supposed to go ball side and help, and she did. That, that was a corner three. Um, Cook hit her first one, missed the next four. That's what we're doing. You know, that's just, that's the percentages we were playing. Um, but yeah, but credit Kendall, like she stepped up and had a, a, a really good game for them. And I want to ask you about uh, play from Janae. Uh, she she could have got her tenth point on the transition layup, but she passed it to Abby behind her back. Um, did you you know were you expecting that from her? Yeah, because she's gonna pass it every time, right? <laughs> you know, like, like you could probably part the Red Sea, and she try to find a find an assist. Um, it just that's who she is. I've seen it for three years, and I think she tried to drop one off to Jayla too uh, in the first half. But uh, that's just who Janae has been her whole life, and uh, it, it helps when when we knock down shots for her. Um, but uh, she had a, she had a pretty special floor game. Camille Hobby has been maybe Illinois' hottest hand over the past six games, and you guys held her to just five points. Mm -hmm. What was the game plan heading into tonight, and how did you execute that? Go at her. I thought, I thought if we could go at her and get her, get her in foul trouble, that could help us. And, you know, she didn't pick up any fouls, uh, but I think she looked a little frustrated trying to guard Caitlin. Um, I think in the first half, what did we have, 33 points at halftime? We had 22 in the paint. Um, so I think it's a little frustration on their part. Um, because and then our zone probably slowed that down because they went small and put shooters on the floor. So it was either Kendall or or Hobby. They didn't have them both on the floor a lot against our zone. Thank you. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Joe.